In part three of this series, I'm going to look at painting a four value notan study. In this um, demonstration, we're working with the same reference as in the previous lessons. We'll start off with the darkest dark shapes, filling those in with black paint or a black felt tip marker in your sketchbook. Remember to squint at the scene to isolate the main shapes we're looking for. Then go on to the extreme light shape, which is usually the sky. And this will use white paint. Or if you're using your sketchbook, leave it with the white paper showing through. Next step is to isolate two middle value areas and I've isolated in this case the darker middle value and now we're looking for the next middle value which will be lighter but nevertheless not an extreme light to compete with the sky so a, a lighter gray fills this in nicely now we've taken this scene and isolated a series of shapes, the darkest dark, the lightest light, a darker middle value, and finally a lighter middle value. Now if we keep in mind that most landscapes only consist of four values and it's a good idea to try and stick to four values for your landscape paintings. This way you have much stronger shapes with definite areas of light and dark and middle value which give a painting a lot more impact than uh, many uh, shapes that are confusing and don't have distinct value areas. Use your Manzel value scale to check the values are correct. And now you can move on to painting these shapes onto your canvas and developing your painting confidently going forward.